Hello, this is a lesson on the parts of a ukulele. Ukuleles come in four different sizes. There's this soprano ukuleles, concert, tenor, and baritone ukuleles. Sopranos being the smallest and the baritones the biggest. Let's talk about the three main parts of the instrument. This is the head or headstock, and this part is the neck, and this is the body of ukulele. On the headstock or head, you have tuning keys, and these are tuning pegs. Now let's move to the neck. This is knot. This wires are called fret wires because these spaces are called frets this is first fret second fret third fret fourth fret and fifth fret a fret is a space where you can produce a sound for example if i play this string right here that's the sound if i move it closer to the next wire we get the same sound but the moment we move to the next fret you get a different sound so you get different sound as you move to the next fret and as you move to the body the pitch of the string or the sound gets higher in pitch and since these are the frets this board from the nut up to this hole is called fretboard. It is also called fingerboard because it is the board where we put our fingers on to play a chord like this. And these dots are called position markers because it helps you locate uh, the position of a fret. So for example, if you are asked to play a string at seventh fret, Knowing that my first marker is at 5th fret and my second marker is at 7th fret, then I don't have to start counting from the 1st fret to locate the 7th fret. All I have to look is where my second dot is, my second marker, as it is at 7th fret. So here, 7th fret. So if this is 7th fret, this is 8th fret. So the markers help you locate a fret. Now let's talk about the body of the ukulele. This side or the top, this is the top board or sound board. And on it, you see this part, which is called bridge. And on the bridge, you have a saddle. And also this hole is called sound hole. And the design around the sound hole is called rosette. And uh, this is the sideboard. And this curve, and there's another one here, are called waists. And this is the backboard. My ukulele has strap pegs. And so I can use my ukulele and play it standing up with the aid of a strap. That means I don't have to hold the weight of the ukulele to be able to play it. Now let's talk about the strings of the ukulele. There are four strings and this is numbered one, two, three, and four. And the strings have letter names. The letter names is based on the pitch each string is tuned to. The fourth string is tuned to a G. So you can see it's a G. The third string is tuned to C. The second string is tuned to E. And the first string is tuned to A. And this tuning is called standard tuning. So when the strings are tuned to G, C, 
E and A, that's the standard tuning. There are other tunings for the ukuleles. This is the lesson on the parts of the ukulele. I hope you have learned something from this video. Thank you for watching.